Hi guys! My kids recently came across Otter Pops for the first time and have not stopped talking about them since. But they are basically just full of water and sugar and food coloring, so of course we had to find a way to make our own. So today we're going to share with you three delicious, all-natural DIY Otter Pops. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So for all of the Otter Pops, you will need a special plastic bag. Show them what it looks like. It's a long rectangle, zips at the top, and you can find these in our Amazon store. I will leave that link below. And then you will most likely need a funnel. Show them what it looks like. You can just use a tiny one. Sometimes if you're using something that's super liquidy for the ingredients, then you don't need it, but I do like to have one on hand. And then finally, if your kids complain of cold fingers, these guys are super cool. They're neoprene, and you just slip the pop right in. The fingers don't get cold, right? Brooks is a huge fan of these. So let's talk about the rest of our ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna do is a strawberry watermelon chia seed pop. So we'll use a food processor to get everything liquid, starting with our watermelon. Brooksy will put that in there. And I find that if you cut up a watermelon, it tends to go bad pretty quickly, so this is a really nice way to extend the life. Next, I have some strawberries. They're kind of like partially frozen. You can use them frozen, unfrozen, whatever. Put, oh, he's already got them in there. And next, we're gonna whip it up, puree it. So I'll put the top on, and then Brooksy, you can start it. All right, so our strawberries and watermelon are totally liquefied. I'm gonna pour them out into a bowl, and then Brooks is going to add the chia seeds. Now these are so great because they have omegas and a little bit of fiber, but they do need to expand a little bit before you put them in the freezer. So he's gonna sprinkle all of them in there and then give it a quick stir. And now we'll set it aside for 30 minutes before we fill our pops. Our mixture is all set. You can see it's thickened up a little bit. And next up, we're gonna fill our pops. So I got one open. Now I have a trick to making these fill a little bit easier. Only do this if you're healthy, but. And then I'm gonna put my funnel in here and Brooks is gonna do the scooping. So scoop a bunch in there and we'll see it all get in. The chia seeds look like watermelon seeds. You wanna leave about half an inch empty so you can actually close the pop. And then once it's zipped, I have just a plastic mason jar that can go in the freezer to help me put it upright, and now we'll put it in the freezer. Next up, we have our red, white, and blue pops, which Brooks calls our American pops. And for the red, we're using some raspberries. You wanna show them what that looks like? So I've thawed these raspberries, which gives off a little liquid, and that is perfect because it really helps them puree. So you can put those in the bowl. And next up, I'm gonna sneak in a little veggie with these red peppers. So Brooks, you put them right in there. And then we need to make our blueberry puree. So again, I've defrosted these and they have a little juice. Brooksy will put those in there. And we'll put the top on and puree. And you'll want to process these pretty well because of the skin on the blueberries. So Brooksy, do you want to hold the bag for us? Get it open, I unzipped it. And then I'm going to use a funnel for this one. So put it in. And then I'll scoop the raspberry to start. It's going to be so pretty when it goes in. Pretty. It does look pretty cool, Good huh? job, Mommy. Thank you. And next, the vanilla yogurt. And you can really use a regular yogurt or a Greek yogurt for this. I like the regular because it's a little bit thinner. Goes to the funnel easier. And next up, we have the nice blue of the blueberries. Ooh, Ooh loving that. Loving that. And then let's top it with a little bit more yogurt. That looks delicious. And finally, we have our orange pop. So Brooks is gonna take half of an orange that I peeled, put it into sections, put it into the food processor. And then we have a little bit of mango. You can use fresh or frozen that goes in there. And then finally, we're gonna sneak in a little veggie. What's that? Carrots. Grated carrots. So put that in there. Great for color. Kids won't even really taste it. And then Brooks will put the top on for us to puree. For this pop, we don't need a funnel because it's so liquid. So I'll just hold one of the pops open and Brooksy will pour it right in. It smells so good, this one. Perfect. Now, I usually freeze my pops overnight in the freezer, but of course I had some already made, so Brooks could show you guys how awesome they are. Push it up, take a bite, show them what it looks like. Pretty darn good. <laughs> so yummy? Yummy. So I love these DIY Otter Pops because you can pretty much make them on your own, try different fruits and veggies, different add-ins like chia seeds, and mix it up so your kids are happy all summer long. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Now I'd be really impressed if you could shoot a hoop. Oh, basketball, woo!